Good afternoon. Coming to you again from our sanctuary, our beautiful sun-filled um, sanctuary. I love it when we're in here during this time of day and the light comes down across the altar and it's just gorgeous. A couple things I wanted to share with you. The uh, worship service is going to be on uh, the radio station this weekend. Um, so please let those know who uh, that would be of benefit to. Um, they're probably not going to be watching this video, so let them know. Um, it's going to be on at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. on WISR and WBUT. So both of those stations this weekend at 10 o'clock. Um, let them know that we do have the worship service on the radio station. I'm going to read to you some bits of uh, Luther's catechism over the next uh, few of these devotions. I thought it might be helpful for us to, to hear parts of those um, during these times. So this is um, the Eighth Commandment. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. What does this mean? Luther asks. We are to fear and love God so that we do not tell lies about our neighbors, betray or slander them, or destroy their reputations. Instead, we are to come to their defense, speak well of them, and interpret everything they do in the best possible light. Again, that's the explanation of the Eighth Commandment from Luther's uh, small catechism. When we were studying this in the adult classes before um, all this happened, um, someone said, well, if we could just do that, wouldn't everything be great? And the do that that they were referring to is when we are thinking about our neighbors to interpret everything that they do in the best possible light. Wouldn't that be wonderful if we could do that? If we could do that with that neighbor that we disagree with, or we have a different political view of, or that maybe they've dumped something in our yard or come across our um, lines between our, our yards, or maybe we had crosswords with, or maybe it's that coworker, or maybe it's that friend, or, or maybe it's um, somebody we encountered somewhere. Wouldn't it be nice if we could live into this, if we could speak well of them and interpret everything they do in the best possible way? Maybe they're having a bad day. What's going on in their life? Maybe they're in the midst of a crisis. We're all in the midst of a crisis now. So what is it that we could do to live into this? Because living into this would mean that we are not only fulfilling the commandments, but we are loving each other as we love our God. We are serving each other and thereby serving our God. It is a way for us to be a blessing to our community, to our neighbors, to our friends, to our families, to be an example of what it is that God has called us to do in Christ. And certainly during these days of crises and challenge and difficulties, um, speaking well of our neighbors, putting everything that they do and say in the best possible light, could be a way of calming some fears and bringing down the tension level a little bit all around us. Let us pray. Gracious God, we come before you on this beautiful day and give you thanks for the sunshine. It's wonderful. Lord, we also remember those who are suffering this day. We pray, Lord, that you might be with them, give them comfort, and, and give them your peace. We ask you to be with Rana, especially as she is still in the hospital. Watch over her and, and bring her quickly to healing and to wholeness and to be reunited with her husband and getting back home. Bless those who are working in healthcare in these days and our county officials, our state officials, our national officials, as all the information is coming at them from a thousand different directions and decisions need to be made and choices need to be made. Bless them and guide them during that. And bless our congregation as we are separate from one another, that even though we are separate, <clears throat> may we remember that we are, reunited, we are united in our love for each other and for you and that your Holy Spirit can work through us even when we are apart from one another, because we still are the body of Christ. Bless us and guide us and, and watch over us. In your son's name we pray. Amen. God bless. See you tomorrow.